Jacob has been pen snacking again. Jacob of Fudafan is back to his old ways, buying a bunch of inexpensive Chinese pens just to check them out. He kindly sent me Platinum's Little Shooting Star. This is Platinum's model that's between a Preppy and a Profonte. It's sold exclusively in China, but you can buy it on AliExpress. I'll put a link to his blog post in the description box below. I was originally going to do a review on Platinum's Profonte, but there are so many video reviews out there, I didn't think I could add anything new. So instead, I'll be using the Profonte as a comparison model to Platinum's Little Shooting Star. As a side note, the Profonte isn't sold in Japan. When I went to Tokyu Han stationery floor, I had to go ask the lady where the Profantes were. I couldn't find them, and they didn't know what it was. They had to look it up in their catalog, and it's an export model only. I felt like such an insider because they were asking me what the pen was like. Platinum's little shooting star comes in this test tube looking container with only Chinese instructions in the back. You unscrew the top to get the pen out. The cap looks just like a plastic bottle cap. I don't normally drink stuff out of plastic bottles, but my daughter likes these hot teas that you can get out of uh, vending machines. So I'll unscrew the top and compare the two, and yep, it looks just like a bottle cap. Okay, and then we'll slip the pen out. This is a very lightweight plastic pen, and it's a snap cap. It has no clip, but it's faceted, so when you roll it, it pretty much well will stop pretty quick. Its section is just like the Preppy, the Profonte, and the Placer. The cap is supposed to be one of their slip and seal caps, and it has a bunch of little holes on the top. The barrel is, as you would expect, it's injection molded and very light. This is supposed to come with Platinum's slip and seal, and it was kind of hard for me to believe that as the caps had holes in it. I put water in the cap and sure enough it all came out of the little holes. And then I tried twisting the pen and it made an interesting little spring noise. I then poked around on the inside of the cap with a chopstick and looked at it really closely with the flashlight. And sure enough, there's a spring in there and a thin plastic inner cap, so it probably does have the slip and seal. It comes with a cartridge, but I'm just using a regular um, platinum standard converter. And this is why it's called Little Shooting Star. It has a large star right above the P, a little star on each one of the tines, and a little star right next to the section. And as you can see, this section is just like a Preppy, a Profonte, or a Placer. And here I'm comparing this section and nibs of the Profonte and Shooting Star, and they're exactly the same. So much so that I can take the section from the Profonte and screw it into the barrel of the shooting star and put the cap on too. It all fits fine. Here it is compared to the barrel of the Profonte and you can see that the shooting star has got a little bit thicker barrel. They're almost exactly the same height and the shooting star just looks like it's girthier because the plastic is just thicker. This is the Profonte unposted. And the Profonte posted, it's much longer and it posts very well, nice and snug. And the shooting star unposted, just about the same. And the star posted, again, it posts nice and snug. Here's the Pilot Kakuno compared to the Profonte and the star. Here they are lined up without their caps on, the same size, but the Pilot nibs a little bit longer. The Kakuno, Profonte, and Shooting Star are all about in the same price range. 
The Profonte is about $10 in the States. The Kakuno is about $13 in the States. And the Shooting Star is about $9 on AliExpress, but that includes international shipping. I'd also like to compare the Star to two upgraded snap caps, the Pilot Prera and the Pilot Grants. Here you can see that the Pilot Prera is considerably shorter than both the Star and the Profonte. And same with the caps off, it's considerably shorter. But then the nib is a little bit longer. And as you can see, compared to the Profonte and the Shooting Star, the Prera is considerably shorter. I can write with it like that. I prefer to write with it like that. Many people need to post the Prera. The Prera is a sturdier pen with nicer hardware. And it's a very nice writer, but then you jump up in price to about $56 for it. And a 14 karat gold nib upgrade to a snap cap is the Pilot Grants. Capped, it's about the same size as the Star and Profonte. Uncapped, they're again about the same size, but the Grants is a little bit more slender. And then again, the nib is just a little bit longer. I'm going to ink up the Profonte with Mita San Shodo's Hakka Blue Black. It comes in their Sumi Edo Kiriko Cut glass bottles. It's a pretty wet ink and we'll see how it works out with this pen. And then I'm going to use Eye Paper's Matsu ink to ink up the Shooting Star. Like I showed in my ink bottles video, the box to this can come apart like a piece of origami. It's not glued together. This ink is a nice gray blue that's a little bit on the drier side. Here's a Profonte with the medium nib and the blue black ink and it writes very smoothly and um, it's kind of a gusher. <laughs> it pretty much well writes just like a medium nib pleasure or preppy with a wet ink. And here's the little shooting star with a fine nib and a little bit drier ink and it writes just like a placer or a preppy with a fine nib with a little bit drier ink. It's nice and smooth and it's a great writer. So both Platinum's Little Shooting Star and the Profonte write exactly the same and I would venture to say between the Profonte, the Little Shooting Star, the preppy, and the pleasure, all you're really choosing when you're choosing between the four is what kind of body you like. And of course the shooting star has that cool little star on the nib. With these mid-range and lower cost pens and the introduction of the Platinum Curados, Bruno Tott of Chronicus Estilographicus was wondering if Platinum is now going to try to concentrate more on the mid to lower cost range of pens. He discusses that and the implications for Platinum as a company. I'll leave a link to his blog in the description box. And a quick shout out to the Fountain Pen Companion podcast run by Incantadora, Danamad, and Urban Hafner. For some reason, they seem to think that, I don't know, I splash around a lot of ink. Imagine that.